Welcome to the DDoS mitigation demo video. Distributed denial of service, or in short DDoS attacks, use hundreds or thousands of hijacked computers organized in a bot network to attack a single victim. The combined power of these zombies is then used to send more requests to the victim as it could handle. This results in a denial of service for legal users. Our project introduces a remediation system which is placed in front of a potential target server. The device uses machine learning techniques to separate malicious from legal requests. In order to develop and evaluate our mitigation approach, we are using a dedicated test environment. It consists of multiple attacking machines, the remediation device and the target web server. This illustrates the traffic flow from the attack servers on the left to the target servers on the right, protected by the remediator. The pool of the servers on the left also contains one machine, which simulates regular users and can measure completed HTTP requests. The user simulation repatchy is able to replay previously recorded Apache log files and measures the success rate. Here we can see about 40 users per second using our target web server with a success rate of 100% illustrated by the blue curve. Repatchy simulates the completed TCP connection including the handshake, the request and the teardown. The traffic passes through the remediator and can be monitored. The botnet simulator Bonessi generates SYN, UDP and ICMP flats with forged IP addresses and can easily fill up the 1 gigabit link. Furthermore, it can simulate an HTTP GET flat with up to 40,000 source IP addresses. Commercial DDoS remediation systems, as shown here, are able to identify and block flats, which clearly violate protocol usage. In this case, our SYN and UDP flat is detected and mitigated. However, if we launch a highly distributed HTTP GET flat, the attack can not be handled by the commercial system and it causes denial of service for legal users. The red bars of this user simulation GUI indicate failed legal requests. Only 20% of normal users can now use the service. Now we activate the remediator. It uses the Linux kernel module and of high shape as a high performance firewall component. Let's have a look at the remediator GUI. The arrows at the top indicate the attack status of each link. The charts below show the corresponding traffic on the wire. Top left shows the incoming traffic to the remediator. Top right illustrates the filtered traffic passed to the target server. And bottom left shows the traffic from the target server back to the clients. Additionally, bottom right visualizes the measured HTTP response time of the target server. If we launch the HTTP GET flooding attack again, we can observe traffic increase in the remediator GUI. The user simulation GUI shows in parallel the failed legal requests due to server overload. After a couple of seconds, the remediator detects the attack and enables an emergency firewall ruleset. Immediately, the success rate of legal users increases. In the remediator GUI, it can be observed that not all traffic is passed to the target server and HTTP response time gets better. During this emergency mode, the remediator calculates more detailed firewall rules depending on the attack characteristics. After a few minutes of observation, the attack dependent rules are applied and the attack traffic is filtered out more efficiently. This leads to lower server load and traffic as observable in the remediator GUI and to less than 10% of denied users. The automatically generated firewall rules are also shown in the GUI for better incident forensics. A world map furthermore shows the origins of attackers. Red color indicates a high concentration of attack sources.